So for a limited time only, we can play and farm Mega Hives. These are right now here for another 4 days. And these people have a chance in dropping those exotics. But in fact, are they actually worth playing? Well, today I give you my opinion on them. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the Mega Hives are classed as true endgame activities for Marvel's Avengers. This one which is here for another few days is called the Gauntlet of Heroes. And well, there are loads of reports of these dropping exotic gear. Which is right now possibly the best way in getting exotics in the game. As the elite heroic hives can take what two or three times longer. And there are still reports that these are bugged when it comes to dropping that loot. So well I guess if you have multiple characters uh, at a high level then this mode could be just for you. Now there are a few things I want to discuss in terms of these mega hives, some good, some bad. So the good, end game activities are needed and I like the fact we are getting them already. Also like I said, exotics are obviously the rarest of rarest loot in the game and having more ways than one in which you can get them is great in my opinion. Also another good thing, these are hard, not in a sense of impossible to do, it's just you need to have your wits about you and also need multiple high level characters. Because the way these work are, if you go down into that revived state, you are done on that character, you cannot be revived. What happens then is you switch to your next highest character, or you switch to another high character, depends how many you have. And this happens until your characters are done. And I like that, it's different and it is a challenge. So really that's it for the good, so the bad. Well guys, all this is, is basically a normal hive with no revives and character swapping with a few mods and 6 floors at that. Nothing really I can tell is much different here, which is a little disappointing but I guess I can get over that. Secondly the rewards, now yes exotics are a nice touch but they are as rare as heck people. Yes they do drop here, as well as the elite heroic hives. The only two places in the game as far as I know that you can get exotics but they ain't that common. Don't believe you're going to go into this getting one every run, it's more like one every 25 or so runs. And while well, people, the exotics I have seen for the most part seem to be a little disappointing. In fact to a point of them not really being any better than legendary gear which you can get elsewhere. Now I say this because the exotics received a buff so they said in the latest patch. But it seems as though exotics I have seen drop so far haven't received any buff. And well that's to another point, legendaries in rarity are what we must all get from this if anything. It's really the main purpose besides that challenge. So what do you actually get after spending what feels like a lifetime doing this? Well at best people it seems you get a 3 or 4 star legendary. And this is a massive problem for me, because with this being true end game content, its rewards are just not worth the effort when you can run a vault in 10 minutes and arguably get much better loot and rewards in one tenth the time which it takes to do this, which is bizarre to me. The loot in this game just doesn't seem right, it doesn't seem optimised correctly. But in saying that I guess it will just be a learning process which hopefully they learn from in the near future and fix it. And well people its problems don't really end there because many many people are experiencing a bug on the last floor where enemies stop spawning even if you reload that checkpoint, nothing actually happens. Now I didn't have this problem but it seems many people are, so that's one to be wary of. And while there's even more, this is solo only, yes solo only. Now I don't know what that is all about uh, but I have seen many people not happy about this fact. To me it kind of makes sense in what the mode is but still a solo feature within an online multiplayer mode, it is a weird cool. But the mode itself for the most part in my opinion is quite decent but I'm not sure implementing such a feature into an online mode was the right thing to do. I think this kind of goes against the narrative of the game but hey that's a different story for a different video. So yeah guys although these are with good intentions in my opinion unless you are farming exotics and that's all you have left to do, I don't really feel the mega hives right now are worth it but that's just me. What do you think about these? Let me know down below within that comments section. But yeah if you want to farm exotics these are probably the best to do so right now. 
And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Avengers videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.